Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today we're going to be making some more cards and some cute little other things too I thought would be fun to make. It's kind of like a little coloring book for kids for Halloween that I thought would be fun. But happy Thursday. I'm so glad I started doing this on Thursday because if I hadn't committed to doing card making videos and paper craft videos on Thursdays, I would never get anything done because I was always putting it off. So this is working out good for me to get some more things done. So I'm going to flip you guys over to my craft table and I'll show you what we're going to do today. Alright, so here are some of the stamps. I mean, you can use any stamps. You can use any theme you want to do. This is just what I'm going to do here today since, you know, Halloween's in a couple months here. I figured I'll use these. I don't have a ton of Halloween um, stamps or anything. I thought I had more than I did, but I really, really don't. So anyway, this is a little kitty cat. I'll stand up here so I can see. I think I turn it this way where it has the black. There we go. Um, it's a little black cat riding a broom. Um, I ordered these from Alex West many, many years ago. Um, pretty sure that's where all these came from. So I really don't know like the links for these because, like I said, some of these are old. And actually, I think some of these, no, not these though, but a lot of stamps I do find like at the thrift stores. If you keep your eye out for those, you can get a great deal. But here I have this little witch, and more kitty cats, a frog, some bats, uh, pumpkins and things. And these are just all those clear rubber stamps. And here's another set that I have. It has more, you know, smaller ones. This Happy Halloween, cute little, I love the cute little witches and things. They're just fun. And this one has the Trick or Treat and Pumpkin Day and Happy Halloween. Some bats and kitties, but there's just so many. And if you go on aliexpress.com, you can find thousands and thousands of these clear stamps for really, really reasonable prices. <clears throat> All right, so I did stamp out this card. I thought that would be cute. And you don't have to use like the same stamps from the same set. I kind of mixed them up. Um, I think these are from one set and these are from another. And I just put a Halloween hello on there, and then I'm going to just color these in with my colored pencils because, you know, that is one of the most inexpensive ways that you can actually make a card or stuff. And right now with all the school supplies out, you can get a great deal. Like I said before, I got these colored pencils at Target um, a few years ago when they um, went on sale. These are the Crayola colored pencils. And you can get the really big set sometimes for a really good deal this time of year when the school supplies are out. So I did that one. And then I'm also going to show you how I did this little book here. Um, I thought this would be a really cute idea for, um, you know, like a Halloween party or, a, you know, a, whatever. A, a whatever kind of thing you're doing just for the kids. You know, if you're having a little get-together, um, you know, give them one of these little books here. I just stamped out some things and just give them one of those little packs you know, you get those party packs of crayons and stuff at Dollar Tree, too, for Halloween and stuff. And then that would just be a cute little thing to put at everybody's little place setting or whatever. But we'll do that there in a little bit. Um, now, this one I did with the stamps. I mixed all these different stamps up, and I just did this all in colored pencils. I put pumpkins down here. Um, they wouldn't quite fit on there, so I figured I'm going to use it anyway and just use the tops of the pumpkins. And then I just used a whole bunch of different colors and just made the sky. And then this is supposed to be the grass here and stuff. And I thought that was real cute. And that's just color pencils and stamping on this card. And then the inside, I have this. This is a, um, let me see where this one's at. Um, original, of course I'm not going to be able to find one. Here it is. It's just a little happy Halloween stamp. And this was from Michael's. I got this a couple years ago at Michael's too. It just says Happy Halloween. And it stamps out really nice. So I like the clear stamps a lot better because you can really see where you're putting them on the paper rather than, you know, you can't see through the wood obviously. But um, so you're going to need your little acrylic mat here to put your little um, clear dies on if you haven't used these before. And then with the colored pencils, I always have these erasers. I get these at Dollar Tree, too. I love these. A nice white eraser. Even if you get the ones that fit on top of a pencil, you know, those just white erasers. These are great. In case you go out of the lines, which I tend to do quite often, 
Then I'm going to use some of this Memento Tuxedo Black ink. You can get this anywhere. I think I ordered it on Amazon, but you can get it at Michael's. I'm not even sure. You might be able to get it at Walmart. I'm not sure if they have that brand, but it really doesn't make any difference. Um, so let's see. Where shall we begin? Let, let's make this little book since I've been talking about this little book. So all I did was I took some, I thought I had another piece here that was already cut. Is this it? Here it is. Um, I took a piece of regular 8x11 cardstock. I cut it on, on the length side. I cut it uh, five and a half inches and just made these little cards. So you can make, this is actually just one piece of paper to make this little book here. Unless you want to add more, you could add more. Um, and then just make a cute little pattern or design on your paper. I just want to open that up to do that. And I just love these little stamps because you can make so many different varieties. Whoops, different varieties. Get back on there, little girl. Uh, let's see. We could do like this Happy Halloween. Now, actually, this um, pad that I got here, I acrylic thing. This actually came from Dollar Tree, so sometimes you can find these there. Um, and then on the bigger dies, I like to just take my ink pad and just tap it on there make sure I got it covered good. And then we're just going to put that right up here. There's our... No, that didn't do too well, did it? I'm not the best stamper on the planet, but since this is a Halloween thing, I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> Some of these stamps are old, too. I don't know how good they're going to be, because they actually feel different than they did before. They feel thinner, I guess, after they sit around for a while. But anyway, so I messed that up. I was just going to take my little Sharpie here and fix that in. All right. That looks like an M now that I did that. Anyway... All right, and then you can take your little witch girl here with a broom. Put her down here. She's so cute. Yeah, I'm not nailing any of these stamps here now. Like I said, every time I do anything on camera, can't do it as well. <laughs> I made all these things, no problem. But when I want to show you guys, I have a problem. Let's see, let's put this other little... Um, that one looks more like a little wizard. Maybe they're like best friends. Put him over there. And these little wipes, these are just those baby wipes from Dollar Tree. I just keep them handy and as soon as I'm done with it, I wipe it off, put it back on the little sheet of paper here. Because it's all printed where they all fit. Um, let's see. Maybe we'll take one of these bats from the other set. Tap him right here on there. He's goofy looking, isn't he? And what else you could do is you could like get one of these stamped up really well, you know, one that you're really happy with, and just run them through a copy machine and just print them out. So you just really need to make one and then just print the rest out and make the little books out of them. That would be a really easy way to do this, so you don't have to do it over and over and over again. Um, let's see, what else do we want? We'll throw a moon in there. Why not? But anybody that likes doing, like, the adult coloring books and things, you can make up some of these pages for them. I'm just going to stick a moon over here. And there would be a little, just one of the coloring pages for your book. Alright, so then I just took these. Actually... I don't want to make another one, so I'm just going to show you how I did this one here. Let's take this one apart. Because we don't have another one made, but we can make this another page in this book. Alright, so I just folded them in half like a little card. And then, we need something to poke a hole. I have this little handy dandy tool here that someone had sent me. They said they got this at Joann's. I don't know exactly what it's called. It has like an awl on the one end, and then it has your uh, tweezers on the other end. And I'll tell you what, I use this thing like crazy. But you're just going to 
put them together however you want them to go. And then you're just going to take your little awl or whatever you have and just poke two holes, probably like three inches apart here in the center. I didn't measure or anything, I'm just guesstimating. And then you have one of these big darning needles. They work wonderful for lots of things. And then you're just going to take yourself a piece of this. This is Baker's Twine from Dollar Tree. They usually have all different colors of that there in the crafter's square section. Now this needle, I think I got it at Walmart. I did not get this at Dollar Tree. So, we're going to start from the outside and you're going to go up and through here and leave enough so you can tie it. And then I like to go around one more time with this. And I just kind of pull this to the, to the side like this so you can get your needle back through there easy without getting it caught on the string. But you always want to start on the outside so you have your little tie there. And then we're going to go around here. I'm going to try to pull that tight so I can get through there. And there you go. You have your little loop on the outside. And then you're just going to, whoops, I pulled too much of that through already. There we go. Alright, so we'll cut that off. And I'm going to knot it here just so it doesn't come undone on me. And then I'll just make that whatever's left here into like a little bow. And that's it. And there you have your little coloring book. Oh, it's got an extra page in here. And there you go. And then I guess i got to put some more stamps in here. But you could just set these out on the table or if you're having a dinner around Thanksgiving or whatever. Something for the kids to do or you could even have the kids make these. That would be fun too. Make them and then color them. But you just need some stamps and that's it. So I thought that would be something fun to make for the holiday there. For everybody that celebrates Halloween. And then some of these other stamps, I just stamped all these out on paper. I have a whole bunch here that I already stamped. This guy has started coloring in. But I just stamped out a bunch of things. And then I color them up and whichever ones I want to use. And you could sit and color these while you're watching TV. I love this stamp too. I think I got that at Michael's two years ago. The Halloween, the, the um, it has like a hat and a pumpkin in there and, and a bat and things instead of the letters. It's really cute when it's colored up. I don't think I have any of those colored right here. No, of course not. You know, and just stamp out the little girl with the broom or whatever. And um, just sit and color these while you're just watching TV or whatever. And then when you're ready to use them, you can just cut them out. The only way to cut these little guys out is I just take a little pair of scissors and um, like I said, this one I just stamped right on the paper. I'm going to show you how I did those pumpkins though. But I just like fuzzy cut them or I don't know what you want to call it. A lot of people call it fuzzy cutting. Or you just want to leave a little bit of the border of the white on there just because it's, you know, it makes it look kind of like a sticker when you're done. And just cut them out like that. Just leaving your little border on there. And I already have a bunch of these cut out. Now another inexpensive way that I do these is all of these that I stamped out, these are actually the index cards from Dollar Tree. There's like, I don't know how many's in a pack. Of course I don't have that out here either. But you get a lot. And it's much cheaper than using the cardstock. But if you're just doing these little sticker-like things here that you're going to cut out, that's a really another inexpensive way to make your cards. No one will ever know. Whoops, I forgot to put my little moon back. Alright, let's put that back. Oops. Alright, let me move some of this stuff out of my way. Alright, so these I already colored. I, all these, and I cut them out. This is kind of how they all look when they're cut out. And then I printed out one of the Happy Halloween things. And I cut out a piece of paper to back that with, too. I thought that would make it stand out really nice. And then we have some bats in here. That's what I'm using my little leaf tray for right now that I got at Dollar Tree. Um, some pumpkins, a little cauldron. Let's see, here's the little bats that I did on the... Yeah, cards. 
Why do words just disappear out of my brain? Index cards, thank you. <laughs> That's so weird. Anyway, those are all the little things. I already cut them out. And then we're going to take some paper here. Now these little cards I got at Michael's, you could just fold up some cardstock and make yourself a card. These are the four and a quarter by 5.5 inch cards and then you get, can get the envelopes that come with these too. But I like this size. They're not the real big cards or anything. So I'm going to use this one but I figured I'm going to layer some paper on here. So I just took some orange cards, cardstock and I cut it an eighth of an inch smaller than this thing here, than the card. And then I took this out of one of the Halloween packs and then I just cut this one an eighth of an inch smaller or so. I kind of guess on these two, but just to give you an idea, like an eighth of an inch. Just so it kind of makes this nice little frame for a card. So we're going to glue those on there first. As soon as I find it, toss my glue stick. This isn't the one I've been using. I don't know where you are. Oh, here you are. Alright, and these are just the Elmer's Craft Bond. This is extra strength glue sticks. I really like these. These things work great. Um, so we're going to use that to... I think there was a side that had a little mark of pen on it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we want to glue this side. And I'm just going to go around this with my glue stick. And then just glue. Whoops. Glue this down on the card. Pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. Could have came over this way just a little more. But it'll be alright. And then we're going to take this one here and we're going to glue that right on top. And there we go. And that just gives you a nice layered look and background for whatever you want to do. Did I not glue, glue on the edge here? No, I did not. There we go. But that's just so easy. And then you can take one of your stamps and put it in here if you want to. Or if you want to make this like into an invitation, you could do like your two thumbs, dates, all that kind of goodies on the inside. So now we're going to put our label on the top here that I printed out. And again, I just made that like an eighth of an inch smaller than this little word. But I was trying to do another video because I know a lot of people have messaged me, you know, saying that they don't have all this, you know, like the die cutting machines and, and Cricut machines or anything like that. And they're just looking for some inexpensive ways to make some cards here, you know, without having to buy all this equipment. And there are so many different ways you could make cards without all that fancy stuff. Because believe me, I've been doing it for years and I never had any fancy stuff when I started doing this stuff. No, I still don't have a lot of fancy stuff. But, uh, let's see. Does that look about right? Yeah, close enough for me. So there we have our Happy Halloween. Let me take my little girl here, give her a little glue. I'm just doing this glue off to the side because I don't want to get it all sticky here. I should have got my glass mat out that I like to do this on. So we're just going to put her right here in the corner. Oops, not that close. There we go. So there's our little witch with her little broom. And I want to put her, I cut out her little kitty cat friend here. This is all the little things that I cut out for this card. I want to put her little kitty cat next to her. I thought that would be cute. Oops, get off my finger. There we go. And then let's see, maybe we'll put the cauldron here. We can put that up a little bit higher. Whoops, don't turn on me. 
There we go. There's our cauldron. And we'll put these little pumpkins down here. Little jack-o'-lanterns. But if you do want to get any of these stamps, you need to order them like now because they take like a good month to come in. Um, sometimes I get this stuff like in three weeks. I'll leave the, the link below. It's just AlliExpress.com. It's A-L-I-E-X-P-R-E-S-S. -E -E -S. Just AlliExpress or AliExpress. Depends on how you say it. And I'm not sure which way is the correct way. <laughs> Alright, we'll put another pumpkin up there. And then I want to put these little bats on here. I'm just going to run those right across on my finger. Put one here. Let's see, which way do you guys want to fly? How about up? for you guys. I'm going to put one over here. And I thought maybe I would just put one right there in the center. And then that just makes a cute little Halloween picture. But that's it. That's all I'm going to do for this one. Except, you know, I'm not sure where this is going yet or what I'm going to do with it, so I'm not going to stamp the inside yet. Sometimes there's happy Halloween birthdays, there's all kinds of things, so I thought that was just cute. And just so easy to do. I mean, there's just so many different themes you can do depending on the stamps. And if you get some, you know, that have a nice variety like these did, um, like I said, you can mix and match these. Uh, now for those pumpkins, I'll show you what I did for those pumpkins. I don't want to forget that because I told you guys I was going to do that. Let me move these out of the way. Because sometimes there's just not enough room on a card. Um, we're just going to use this for right now. Well, actually, I can do it on a card because I'll just finish that up later. So let me set this little guy over here. And like I said, if you don't want to do these separately, you can just stamp them right on a piece of paper and color them in whatever colors you want to do. But I think this is fun. I like doing them this way, especially, you know, for a child's party or for a little kid's birthday card or Halloween card, whatever you're using them for. I think those are just fun. And then, of course, the little coloring book. I think that is just a super idea that keeps kids busy. All right, let me grab another one of my... The only thing I hate about these is I can't get these to pop up like they should. This thing I actually got at my grocery store. I just throw the little packs of the um, baby wipes in there that I get from Dollar Tree. Alright, so let's see. Here's our cards. We're just going to open that up like so. And then you're going to need another little piece of paper, like a piece of scrap paper. Um, which, you know, I had like two minutes ago and I don't know where that went either. <sighs> what a wall. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to eat. Oh, here it is. We'll just use this index card, which I can makes me be able to see my card better. So say you've got your big picture on here, you don't have enough room for the pumpkins, like I did this one. So you just put a little piece of paper underneath your card, and then I'm going to take my pumpkin stamps. I have smaller acrylic things. Oh, here we go. These are There's a smaller one. I can put both of these on here right now. I'll put the smaller one on here. I have that small pumpkin, and then this bigger pumpkin. They were both off of the same set of stamps. But I don't know if they still have the same set, but they have so many. There is like thousands to choose from. Alright, so then you're just going to take your ink pad and we're just going to stamp these little guys up here. And I kind of alternated them. So you're just going to put them like however far up the card you want to go. So that would be the bottom of the Kind of like making a border on your card. Oops, I didn't want to ink that one yet. And you can put them real close together, or spread them apart, or however you want to do them. Make it, whoops, lower, higher. And there you go. So then that will just line the bottom of your card. And you're not making a mess all over your table because you put something underneath there to protect it. And you could do that all the way around. That would be really cool, too. Um, I'll just make some like a pumpkin border all the way around it. I wonder how easy that would be to do up here when it's folded. Let's find out. 
see if that's going to work out for me, because I think that's a lovely idea to make just a stamped border. Well, you don't want to push too hard on it because you got that fold there. Yeah, that'll work. You could actually just go all the way around there with your pumpkins. Except I got ink all over my fingers. But anyway, just to give you an idea, this is just a, a test run here. Yeah, I think that would be a cool idea. Just watch the ink on your fingers. <laughs> you have no idea how many times I've gotten almost done with a project and then stuck my finger in the ink and got it on there. And then had to do something to cover it up, you know, add a little extra piece of something on there. <laughs> I just want to see how this is going to look as a border. I think that's a lovely idea. You could just make this, wouldn't even have to be Halloween, you could make this right into a nice little fall. I can actually, well, I'm not even going to try to fix this because I just made a mess. But I just wanted to experiment with that because I've never done that. But I think that's a great idea. Minus the thumbprints. <laughs> but anyway, I think that is it for what I was going to show you guys today. I just thought this would be fun. And like I said, I had a lot of people asking me, you know, to do some cards that you didn't need any special equipment. The only thing you need is some stamps. I mean, if you don't have these kind of stamps, sometimes you can find the ones at Michael's when you're checking out that are like a dollar. They used to be 99 cents. Now I think they're a dollar something. I don't know. I haven't been there in a while. But I know the prices have gone up on that stuff too. And also check your thrift stores because I'll tell you what, I have found bags of stamps. Some of them were no good, but you know what? The majority were okay. Um, I don't think I have any of those over here, but I did find a lot, uh, it was probably about three or four years ago now that I found them. I don't think I have any of them. Oh, actually, I think this one was one. No. No, that was a craft smart one. I don't know where they're at right now. I have so many. That's what all these little boxes, everybody always asks me what I have in my pretty boxes. It's all different themes of stamps and... Um, dies and this box here, which I have hardly nothing in because I thought I need to start collecting some more things for fall. And this one I got, I don't know if I got this one at Michael's. Did I get this one at Michael's? No, I actually think, no, this one was from Michael's. Um, some I did find at um, Dollar General a while ago, but I don't think I have any of those over here. It might have been the Christmas ones. But anyway, I got this one a few years ago. And this is pitiful, isn't it? That's all I have in here. I do have some of these leaves and things that I think probably came from AliExpress too. And this is another thing I bought. And like I always say, when you get these die cut things, it's good to cut them out and make what it's supposed to look like. Because I'm looking at this now and I really don't remember what this is supposed to look like. So I'm going to have to cut these out and figure that out. See if I can find um, the ad from where I got them from. But like I said, I really don't remember. These, I think, actually came from Dollar Tree many, many moons ago. Or Michael's. Now, actually, I want to say years ago I got these from Dollar Tree. The packaging just looks familiar. I could be wrong. <laughs> Won't be the first time. All right, so that is it. That is what I wanted to make for you guys today. Next week we'll figure out something else fun to do. Maybe we'll make more of a layered card or something, or I don't know, whatever happens to strike me by next week. But I love this idea. I am actually going to probably get a good one of these made up and just print a few of these out, and I think I'll just put those together for the kids. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. Just add one of those little packs of crayons and off you go. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, and I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.